it's a pretty important mission for us as it was uh, decided on our centennial near uh, centennial uh, anniversary uh, in a in a field like space where we have been away for so long. Uh, even though we have been so far away from this field, uh, especially for the manned space uh, flight, we have been pretty uh, motivated and determined to carry out and run as fast as possible in order to catch up with what we have lost so far. So uh, up until now, we have already collected like 13 different fields of experiments from uh, different uh, fields of disciplines in science and research. Uh, just to summarize a couple of them, uh, even, as I said, even though we have never been into the manned space flight so far, we are still so determined to be able to contribute however we can. Uh, all the way from the beginning, we have already been uh, implementing some studies in order to come up with the results of an um, alternative life support system for the future space flights in order to benefit from the... Um, the functionality of the microalgae in order to scrap the carbon dioxide from the ambient uh, atmosphere, ambient air over here in the ISS, scrap the carbon dioxide fr from it and come up with uh, oxygen in a life support system, which is already being tested so far uh, that we have set up at the very first stage. Uh, secondly, we are trying to come up with uh, natural ways of um, fighting with bacteria, potential bacteria, which might grow over here. So we are using a quite a natural substance, which is the propolis uh, being used already on Earth for different occasions in order to uh, fight with bacteria. So we have been collecting uh, any potential samples here and trying to work on uh, this uh, propolis uh, substance in order to see if it really uh, reacts as it does on Earth. And lastly, I would like to just uh, mention we are also working on the human-related studies, human anatomy related studies, and we have been collecting samples again in order to see the potential uh, effects, negative and positive, of uh, microgravity environments on the human body. So we are pretty determined in contributing several fields of um, space-related research uh, and also really um, motivational-wise, our young generations are so excited. I have been trying to uh, follow up with, keep up with the news coming from the, the country. I mean, the whole country, 5 million people were almost awake, uh, trying to watch and follow uh, the whole launch and the mission, uh, as well as our experiments going on here. So there's a really big amount of population coming up and can't wait for the future uh, space missions.